Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I wanted to share with you guys a candle holder that I'm making that you could use next to your centerpieces and flowers and things at weddings or special occasions. Um, I found these cute little candle holders at the Dollar Tree, so I wanted to get this up now because I don't know if they're just out for Christmas or if they have these all the time, but I've never seen them at my Dollar Tree. So I figured I would share this with you guys today, so let's get started. Okay, for this project what you're going to need is, I got these at the Dollar Tree. I was looking for this, this size, and I was so happy to see that they had them that were kind of, you know, lower in the front and higher in the back because that's the kind of design I want to do. I've seen something like this on Pinterest, but they just used like a regular, you know, round type of glass and tried to make it look like a V. So I was really excited to see these. I don't know if they just had these out for Christmas. So if you're interested in these, you might want to go try to find them now because this is, I've never seen these there before. Uh, you're going to need some glitter. You can also get that at the Dollar Tree. Um, if you're lucky, they don't always have it, but they have this down in where the kids' craft section is with the toys. So I had a bunch of those, but I'm going to use up the rest of this. This I just picked up at, I think I got this at Dollar General. It was only a dollar for a tube of the, it's the real fine powdery uh, white glitter. And it's iridescent. It's very pretty. Um, you're going to need a candle, of course. And I'm going to be using some sand in mine because I only have these small candles. So if you could get a little bigger candle, you won't need to add the sand. But I'm going to add some to the bottom. And then whatever color ribbon you want to use, you can make this match like uh, your bridesmaids colors or whatever you want for whatever occasion this is being made for. Or you could use the glitter in a different color and add the white ribbon at the top. It's uh, totally up to you. And then I have these little gemstones that has stuff stuck to it. That's from Halloween. That I got at Michael's a long time ago. And I got this one that was 60% off. So, And I've used these a lot. And I still have a ton of them left. They come in a long strip. And I just cut off two of those that I'm going to use. And that's pretty much it. You're just going to need some Mod Podge to glue on your glitter. And some type of a brush. Or I'm going to be using... Um, a sponge, but a brush works fine too. So I'm going to get a little bit more of that in here. Alright, so you're just going to want to smear that all over this. You don't have to put it on the bottom because you know, you're never going to see that. But you want to cover the whole thing first. That way you don't end up with any like crease lines from where you know you've, you do a section and then you do some more and it kind of makes a a crease and it's you know really thick if you do it that way in that crease so if you put it on a good amount all over just to start then you don't have to worry about that and just try to get it nice and even you know you don't want any funny lines or anything just make sure you have it all covered with some and I have my heater on right now in here, so I'm hoping it's not going to dry this out too much. Alright, so now we're just going to take our glitter, and we're just going to sprinkle that all over. Just kind of let it run down. And I usually use like a, I have one of these plastic plates from the dollar store. And then I'll use it all out of here, and then I'll just scoop up the rest with a spoon. And put it back in the container when I'm done. But that's pretty much all you have to do. And there you go. And then you're just going to set that aside. See, I ran out here, so I'll just take my little spoon just to make sure I have it all. Those little spots that I missed. There we go. There. So it's very, very pretty. So we're just going to set that aside now and let it dry. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put our ribbon on. Alright, so now this is all nice and dry, and what I did was I ta just tapped it on the table a few times to get the excess glitter off, and then I just took some, you know, I always keep a can of cheap hairspray, 
around and I just gave it two coats of hairspray and that'll keep it so you know some of it's still going to come off but as you can see there's really nothing falling on the table now so we're going to put our ribbon on I'm going to start in the front and I'm going to leave a little bit extra because I'm not exactly sure where this is going to meet so I'm just going to put some glue right on the edge of the glass and you only want to work a little bit at a time and my hot glue gun is not hot yet here it comes alright so we're just going to start here in the front and I think that looks about right and then you're just going to do that all the way around just gluing this onto the edge and I promise I won't make you watch me do the whole way around but you just like I just want to do it just a little bit at a time so you make sure you get it right on the edge of your glass just like so so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue it the rest of the way around all right, we have it all the way around now, glued to the edge, and then I'm just going to take this cute little thing, and where you have it, hopefully you won't get as much glue on it as I just did. Okay. And then we're just going to glue that right to the center of where you, your seam is, so you won't see that. And there you have it. I think that looks very, very, very cute. All right, so now I'm just going to put in a little bit of sand because, like I said, my candles are really small. You don't have to do this, but I mean, you could. It looks pretty. And that should raise my candle up enough, I think. There we go. Oh, I think it might want it to be a little bit higher. Than and this sand I also got at the Dollar Tree. So you can pretty much get everything at the Dollar Tree except my little embellishment on the front. Alright, and that is our little candle holder. So I'm going to finish up the other one and set it up into, next to a you know nice flower centerpiece to show you how really cute these will look on your table. Alright guys, here's our finished little centerpiece. I just put some flowers in there that I had made in a previous video. Um, you can find that in my list of uh, wedding videos. Um, I think they came out really cute. I think the only thing I would do different is I wouldn't bring the glitter all the way up to the top. I think it would look cleaner if um, the ribbon was right on the glass and not on the glitter. But other than that, I think it came out really cute. You can do whatever color you want that you're using for your event and I think it would be a beautiful addition to your table so thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed this idea and have a great day